Hey guys, MC Mura here, and as you know, uh, recently Capcom just put out the character guide for Akuma, and they invited a bunch of content creators over to try the character out. I've been avoiding everything as a plague because I wanted to check it out firsthand with you guys, give you an honest thoughts on like, what is going on, and get like the first time reaction. So this is really exciting. Let's check out the character guide for Akuma, right? The demon. Akuma has a range of powerful, easy to use moves, but his low vitality make him a character that demands the ability to read and react rapidly. So they're retaining Akuma's design where he's low HP, but he is busted. <laughs> Along with projectiles, anti-air and close range strikes that makes up your basic arsenal. Akuma also has corner carry options and additional throws. Damn. They're showing off his moves pretty much, right? His demon flip dive kick looks so fast in this game, and the angle on it is very aggressive. Yeah, this is the additional throws that tell you the throw out of the teleport, so that's fun. His heavy kick tatsu really reminds me of like uh, the Ken OD tatsu. And the corner carry on it is actually really sick. Did you, did you notice this? Like it carried substantially to the corner. Meterless. Meterless. This is like DJ Hey Hey Hey! His fast walk speed along with long. Oh my god, oh, he's really fast. You see how long the crouching medium kick was? That crouching medium kick. I'm sorry if I'm rewinding a lot, but did you see? Did you see the crouching medium kick? That was long! Oh my god. <laughs> and his standing medium kick. His standing medium kick. He got white girl normans now. <laughs> he got the Karen, the Kami, the standing medium kick white girl normans. That is crazy. Good target combo from the forward heavy bunch. This would have been a crush counter in Street Fighter 5. Fireball. And while this fireball can be launched on both ground and air, only the grounded version can be charged. So yeah, so this is a change to Shikanetsu, the red fireball. We know about this, um, that you can charge it, and when you charge it, it turns into the red fireball. Yeah, we know about this. I imagine if he's gonna have like perfect versions. Go Hadu. Fire key blast useful for attacking opponent at range. The speed of the projectile is the button light, medium, heavy. Uh -huh. However, hold down the attack button to amplify it. Yeah. So this is the partial charge, which is like the two hits. Fully charge and three hits. Shikoretsu! Overdrive launches faster projectile. Oh my god. And it's blossom block. Wait, I don't get this. One second. So one time, when he did it here, it was uh, um, it was like the purple looking one. This seems like the level two charge, but then here it was like a red flash. So I don't know. So charges and blossom block. I think Akuma might be the only character with blossom block fireballs. And DJ got him, I guess. Zanku Hadouken. That is the air fireball. It's gonna be so annoying in this game, man. It's, uh, it's so annoying. Large to the jump, the strength of the button, uh, 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 the angle, yeah. The projectile will dissipate. Should you sustain a blow? So if you hit Akuma, the fireball is gone. That's good. This version can be launched from a neutral jump. Uh, it's a really big one. Or utilize the X-ray to be through a goal and drive impact. I mean, who's gonna drive impact to jump in? Looks good though, it looks like it's gonna give him a ton of frame advantage. Go show you that's gonna be your anti air. Should your opponent be foolish enough to approach? Use light or medium version to put an end. The heavy version is perfect for ending combos. So, does the heavy version not got any invincibility? And obviously, OD is a wake up reversal. However, don't let it. Uh, yeah, they're saying you don't rely on it because uh, you got low hills. So, this is like a canned follow up. He's gonna do it regardless. I thought maybe this was like an extension, kind of like Luke. Maybe you want to do the OD uppercut or like the extension, the dunk or not. Uh, what do you call it? The Misogi, right? You want to do the Misogi. Tatsumaki Zankyaku. That's obviously his Tatsu. Mm -hmm. 
Light Virgin launches, you got combo, medium verge will knock them away, goes for a knockdown. While the two version will miss crouching force, the heavy will not. So this is a really big change from Street Fighter V. And this is something that I was wondering. Uh, because in Street Fighter V, light gave you combos just like that. Medium was the one that was able to hit crouching opponents. And the heavy one would also miss on crouching. And you would use it uh, to end combos. But in this version, the heavy one will actually combo on crouching one. But I imagine you have to be close, right? Because the angle on it... What? That looks so cool! That looks mad cool, oh my god. It will not hit crouching force, alright. That looks really, really cool. That look, I'm not gonna lie, that looks amazing. Yeah, and standing medium kick will uh, make them stand up. This is classic Akuma so far. Nice. Nice. And then you can follow after it, that's cool. But this means that, judging by how this looks, uh, judging by how, by how his uh, OD Tatsu look, this looks to me like it's gonna be a throw bait, right? This could be a really good throw bait if you're uh, like kind of like an instant air kick, maybe, or like instant air legs and like an OD air blanca ball, although this looks like it, it is risky. And Kimberly can do like instant air uh, Tatsu as well for throw bait, so this looks kind of like a throw bait, I imagine, but that seems kind of risky as well, so I don't know. But could be rewarding though. Nice. Not the magic is gonna be useful that much because there is no corner carry. Air Tatsu changes your jump trajectory. Mm -hmm. They gave him cross up Tatsu, obviously. And he got a sweep at home on as well. And this looks like it gives a ground bounce. Yeah. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Adam and Flynn. That is a new special. A quick thirst engulfed in flames. Useful for exploiting uh, defense. Potency and property. So the... So let's check this out again, right? Light, just keep them standing. So I imagine you can use this to go for standing resets. Medium one knocks them down. Uh-huh. This is like his move in Tekken, right? He got this move in Tekken 7, I believe, actually. And Heavy will launch. And we know, we've seen in the trailer, the OD1 will actually do like a wall bounce. What? Make use of a slender reach and aim to hit your opponent with the edge of your fist to decrease the chance of your opponent successfully retaliating. So as you're saying, it can be space to be safe. Oh my god. Regardless of where you strike from, the heavy version will not leave you open. <sighs> if the first blow lands, then he does the second, but uh, if the first uh, hit is blocked, he doesn't, and it's safe. Why, man? Like, why? Why? Like, he already got walk speed, he already got an air fireball, demon flip, all of that, white girl normals. Does he need to have, like, a YOLO special moves? Like... This looks like got mad range as well. But I imagine this is gonna be open to, like, drive impact, but, like... He's gonna drive rush, right? Okay. Okay. So you can use it for combos. I'm salty about the heavy version, to be honest, because it just doesn't need to be safe. This is just so and like. So, so they give Jamie like heavy bunch bombs that are safe, and now they're giving Akuma the same thing, and we got like Dragon Lash. I don't like why are you giving all these characters these YOLO like half screen annoying moves that are just safe? <laughs> I really don't know. Demon Raid, I imagine this is a teleport. Demon Raid is Demon Flip? They're calling it Demon Raid? 
Use the menu available of Demon Rain to confound the strength of the button will aim with the distance, yeah. And obviously OD will track. It's the Demon Low Slash. This is a slide unleashed by not performing anything, so it's just like it was always been. And if he cross you over, he will switch sides. Uh, traditional. And it's Blossom Block. <laughs> you know what's funny is uh, during Street Fighter V, this used to be Blossom Block. But then they nerfed it and made it minus two, and now we're back to Demon uh, Flip Low being Blossom Block. This is the overhead by emitting a punch, yeah. But he comes down at a very aggressive angle, and the hitbox looks really good. This move is an overhead attack, obviously, and allow you to move first in case of spot. So low is plus, overhead is plus. This is a dive kick. I imagine this is the one that will be somewhat punishable, but this is the best if the you jump demon flip over a fireball, you're golden and you probably get combos. Yeah, if it's high enough, you get punished. If it's low enough, maybe uh, if blocked, you can still act first. So it can be spaced to be plus. Hmm. For the final technique, Demon Swoop, input down and hold it in order to cut the jump short and quickly descend into the ground as attack. So this is an empty Demon Flip, right? You just... kind of like the Hooligan. I, 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 and the angle of the Demon Flip, like the angle of the dive kick, you can change it as well with the bottom breath. So his Demon Flip is really gonna be... oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So with... oh my god, he's looking mad cheap. Oh my god. So with the demon flip, there is the overhead, there is the low, there is the option of the dive kick that can be spaced to be safe. You can go down. So even if you're thinking about uppercutting you, you can simply go down. And I imagine uh, you have very little recovery, so you can use it to bait normal and special move anti airs. This looks insane. His demon flip looks insane. So Akuma got demon flip. And he got the heavy ball, so he got a lot of YOLO moves as well. He got fast walk speed, he got fast drive rush from what we've seen. He looks ridiculous. He looks ridiculous. Yeah, this will even an arc that will take you right to the opponent. So it seems like it's faster when you are further away. Moves are marching in front. The moves are also get access to two additional attacks. He's gonna be able to do like a fireball, right? I imagine an Itatsu. Yeah, he's gonna. He gets an enhanced OD fireball. So, this is a free get in. And then the Tatsu, obviously. And the Tatsu leads to the ground bound. So, pretty much he's getting the OD versions of the Tatsu and the fireball out of the OD demon flip. Ashura Senku, that is the teleport. A technique that allows you to cover great distance after a brief. You can traverse either toward your opponent or away. Um. It cannot be cancelled into from other moves, so you can't cancel into teleport. It looks really cool in this game, actually. You can pass through the opponent while in transit with this technique. Should you catch a foe unaware, this move become a powerful mean of side switching. But you can get hit out of it. That's interesting. So this seems to me like it's gonna be some sort of an Oki tool, something more akin of a. So this looks to me is gonna be something like an Ed Command Dash, where you're gonna use it for OK, you're gonna use it to close the distance to the opponent, and then at the end, at the tail end of it, you either uh, recover and then do a meaty, or maybe go for a command grab to mix them up. Seems like, and then maybe like if they're gonna punish counter, you get mad damage. Seems to me like this is the idea. It doesn't appear to me, because you get hit out of it. So it doesn't appear to me like it's gonna be very good as a free get out, or at least as a get out that it used to be. Interesting. Misatsu. Misatsu Guhadu. That's gonna be his level 1 super. Fire a high speed concentrated ball of projectile. Can be used in combo, still got invulnerability, so you can use it as a reversal. <laughs> so even if you happen to land like stray air fireball, you still got the ability to convert. Looks really fast actually. Looks better than the Shinko Hadouken. Looks better than Shinko Hadouken. But it's not as good as Luke's level on Super. This is the aerial version. Yeah. And he got a lot of techniques, probably, that uh, he can uh, cancel into this one. 
He can combo two level ones in a row. That's wild, dude. Turns a Satsui no Hado into a powerful frame before piercing the opponent. Perfect against cornered opponents because it will wall splat, right? So mid screen you don't get that much, but near the wall you can go for the Rago high kick. <laughs> they call it a Rago high kick. So you don't even need a drive rush to follow up with this one. That is wild. That is wild. As is attack radio invisibility. I wonder how how big the range is because they're saying like it can be used as a wake up option against even projectiles because some characters do meet you with fireballs like Guile with his sonic blade. Uh, Sean Lee JP does a lot of pierce to like meet you with a fireball because you can't use level one. Typically level one don't got any projectile involved, so that is the idea. Interesting, interesting. Sable of Calamity, that's gonna be his level three. Knocks down an opponent. The invulnerability of this technique will allow you to strike back when you're least expecting. That is a level 3, right? So this is all all three of his supers are invo. That is pretty good. And obviously you can combo into it. Oh my god, this <laughs> <laughs> this is so much cooler. Okay, this is so much cooler. This is a critical art. Let me see it again. Dude, it, it's cooler when they're resisting. You know, kind of like Luke's uh, critical art. When they're like trying to guard. Uh, this looks really cool. It's a lot more cinematic too. No, don't hit me, please. <laughs> and then uh, you got that's a sand gun. And you explode pretty much. So instead of bunching you, he goes for a Rasengan. That's, that's kind of funny. Shangu Kusatsu, that is a raging demon. A secret technique that overwhelms the opponent. It cannot be avoided if performed at close range. They're saying uh, a peerless technique. Should they find themselves in its path, if unleashed on a standing opponent at point blank range, they will have no means of escape. This is an incredibly powerful grab, right? So again, they're saying this is a command grab, right? Uh, Raging Demon is still a command grab. You can combo into it now? So it's only invul against projectiles. Okay, okay, okay. So this is weird. This is weird to me. Because what is the point of the second critical art if you are still able to combo into demon? I imagine demon will still do more damage. Like in Street Fighter V, uh, you had a choice. If you if you, like you you weren't able to combo into demon as well. But demon would uh, dissipate. It would make your V trigger go away. So I imagine this is why you would use it, but why in this game? That's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, Akuma, he looks insane. <laughs> like, he looks mad top tier, dude. He looks super, super top tier. Like they said, he got low vitality, but he's very powerful. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Looks wild. He looks wild. Uh, how do you think Akuma looks? Uh, do you think he's gonna ruin the game? Do you think he looks alright? I would love to hear your thoughts about all of this in the comment section below. We'll be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.